Hey, how's it going? It's Russell James. Welcome to this second video in how to make a fermented raw sandwich. In this video, we're looking at uh, an amazing macadamia horseradish dill cheese. Okay, let's get stuck into making this cheese then. So I'm gonna start off with our macadamias, soaked overnight, about eight hours, hopefully. You could do you know, minimum four hours, but eight hours overnight just gets it done, making sure that you're uh, getting rid of those anti-nutrients and making the nuts more digestible. Actually makes them a little bit more neutral tasting as well. So into the Vitamix with those. And then we're gonna add in some probiotics. So if you can only get capsules of probiotics, you can just pull the capsules apart. Any probiotic I've found has worked for this. So they can go into, the probiotics can go into the blender too. And then we're gonna follow that up with enough water to blend. Now the recipes for all of these videos for this series, um, wherever you're seeing this video, there'll be a link to the recipe uh, on therawchef.com. So you can follow that through and you can actually download the PDF recipe. So you're not trying to write down amounts as you're watching this video. You can just look at the technique as we do it. All right, so get that blended up. You're gonna to need to use the tamper if you've got one. Um, because we're using as little water as possible to get the mixture um, as firm as possible so it'll hold together in a round like a cheese. This is going to be a soft spreadable cheese so you know if you do need to add a little bit of extra water to get it to blend feel free because you can actually you'll see in a minute you can drain a little bit of excess off but uh, generally the rule is try and keep the water down to a minimum so you end up with a bit of a firmer cheese at the end. Okay so then we're going to take a glass bowl or any type of bowl with a, with a, a strainer or a sieve in it, something that's going to allow water to drip through and then a nut milk bag in there as well. And then by now our macadamia mixture should be nice and fluffy so we're going to transfer that into the nut milk bag, give the bag a little twist, tighten it up a little bit and then put something like a plate on top so that then you can put a weight on top of that. It could be an actual kitchen weight, it could be you know a, a very small weight if, from your home workout setup as long as it's nice and clean but the plate is going to stop it touching anyway. So anything that you've got that's going to apply a bit of weight down on there. It could be a glass jar that's full of water. Um, it's going to help it overnight as it sits and ferments and squeeze out any excess liquid. So then what you'll find after 12 hours when you open up the bag is that um, the, the cheese should be aerated. It should have a, a, an extra bit of fluffiness to it. It's going to hold together more. It's not going to be as liquidy as it was, but as you break it open, there's going to, there should be some aeration to it. Okay, so we're going to season this up now, commonly known as the second stage cheese making. Um, we like to add nutritional yeast. If you don't want to add yeast, you can just leave it out, but it really does add an extra little cheesy flavor. If you're going to add it, make sure that it's powdered up either you've powdered all of your nutritional yeast before you put it in or that you powder it up in your fingers as you um, as you crumble it in because nutritional yeast often comes as flakes and you don't want big bits of flake in your cheese you want it just to be um, not visible at all then we're also going to add in some onion powder and then some garlic powder followed up by some salt okay now we need to prepare our dill and horseradish so dill first um, just chop that up nice and fine. Then we're gonna take our horseradish, peel your horseradish, and then ideally if you've got a really fine grater like a microplane, we're gonna grate this as finely as possible. And we're gonna pop both of those into our cheese and give it a good mix up. Now, once you've got that mixed, you could just spread it on like that. You could just keep that in a, in a sealed container. It will last for, well, the fresh dill in there means it's only gonna last for a few days. Without the dill, it would last for weeks. So only put the dill in when you're ready to at least eat it in the next couple of days. But if you would also like to, as a little presentation tip, you can use a metal ring like this and fill the metal ring with the cheese. You'll easily be able to remove the metal ring then and it's just a great way to present this cheese. Okay, great, we're almost there. We've got two elements down. We've got the main, the main event really in a lot of ways, the fermented flax bread still to go. So this is a raw food bread done in the dehydrator that is uh, light and fluffy, it's got a crust to it and it's got the benefit of being fermented as well. So it's got all those extra nutritional aspects to it um, as well. So I'll see you in that video. 